First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Rakafu Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out in the highways and the byways, risking their lives, week in and week out. Shalom to our sincere brothers and shalom to our sincere sisters, supporting and holding on sincerely to this true doctrine. Kwam Yasharala. We are in the end times now. We are in the end times now, brothers and sisters. You have to make it right. You have to seek Yahweh Sham Yahushai. And the earlier you do it is better. Because this kingdom is going down very quickly. There's no point seeking Yahweh Sham Yahushai in the grave. There's no point seeking Yahweh Sham Yahushai five minutes before those missiles come. It's too late. But there's going to be a major, major, there's prophecies that needs to be fulfilled. And one of the prophecies that you need to avoid is that RFID chip. Because if you receive that mark, if you receive that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. This is 2019, the year of Karagma. The year of Karagma. That proof to say that we're drawing down nearer and nearer. The prophecies are being fulfilled. So I want to talk about no to be to be to be to be sure what I'm saying. And to be positive what I'm saying. In order to get the true breakdown, you have to follow the correct order. If you need to get the proper breakdown, you have to go to our, our apostles, their channel. Right? Our elders apostles. To get the true breakdown, the 100% breakdown of Revelations um, chapter 13. All right? But I'm going to say, tell you the basics from what, what I've learned. But if you need to get the full effect, the full truth of it, from back to front, Baba Kusha, go to the Elders Apostles channel, our Elders of Great Millstone, to get the true breakdown. All right? We have to follow order because we learn from them. And other brothers, other Elders in this truth, they that say the same thing. You can go to their channels also from Great Millstone. Other 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 um groups that are following the true one of one hundred percent doctrine from Great Millstone, you can listen to them too. Okay? But as long as they are following the order, the correct order. Alright? So first and foremost, go to our Elder Apostles channel to get the true breakdown of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, right? Revelations 13, all right? So let me just tell you what I know. Okay. And it says here, I'm going to start from, from um, Revelations 11. I'm going to try and go to 18 and try to say as much as, as what I know, right? But Baba Kashal, there is more to it. All right? Right. So it says, the beast comes out of the earth. All right? Revelations 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast. What is that beast? That is Esau plus the power structure. Esau, the so-called white man. The power structure. Coming up 
out of the earth. And he had two horns, right? And those are the two parties. Just like you have the Democrats, right? Plus the, the that's today. That's the equivalent of today. The Democrats and the Republicans, all right? Those are the two parties, right? So those are the two horns. Like, like a lamb, all right? And they come up acting like a like like a like a like a like innocent and meek, huh? Loving, caring, all right. Good. And he spake as a dragon, all right. Harsh. Okay. So all they come up meek and mild, they speak in harsh, like a dragon, right. You know, you know that dragon is not a, is not, is not like a, a simple um, um, creature, an animal. All right, a, a, a dragon is harsh, but they're going to come up as meek and mild. All right, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth. Right. When he says causive, he forces, right? That's what the word causive is. Forceth, he forces the earth and them which dwell therein to worship. And we all dwell in this earth right now. And they're in the rulership. Um, and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth Great wonders, right? And you know those great wonders, that's the technology, right? Because the increase in technology, that's their, that is their blessing. That is their miracles on the left-hand side, all right? The technology, right? We don't have the technology. Esau has the technology right now, and that is their miracles. That is their blessings, okay? So that he make a fire come down from heaven on, on the earth in the sight of men. All right? And that's their technology, you know, because they go up into space. All right? All this technology in space, all this weaponry in space, right? It's all a miracle on the left-hand side, but the Most High gave it to them. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth, and that's what we've been deceived daily, by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image, all right, to the beast which had the wound, wound by the sword, and did live and he had power to give life unto the image all right and we're going to talk about the image in a minute of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right and that image is the system that is the system that image all right verse 16 and he those are the elites those are the elites he cause if and when he say cause if they force right they force so he the elites force right cause if all both small and great rich and poor Free and bond. So no matter who you are. If you're high and mighty. You're low and degraded. No matter who you are. What walk of life you are in. Whoever you are. As a living human being. Right? Rich or poor. Free or bond. Free. If you you know, you know we, we are locked. We are, we're not free at the moment. Right? But no matter if you're locked up. If you're free. No matter who you are, walk in this earth, 
right? And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Okay? In the Hebrew, that mark is kwai kwai. Right? And in the Greek, it's karagma, which is the incision. All right? That's why you have to go back to these words. And we learn these words from our, our elders, apostles of Great Millstone. That's why I'm saying to you, brothers and sisters, go to their channel, GMS, right? Um, our apostles, Great Millstone, to get the true and real breakdowns of the scriptures. All right? So I'm just giving you the basics of it, but in depth, go back to them and go over it again. All right? The mark who received, I've said it again, 16, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, right? Which is that incision in the right hand or in their foreheads. And as the apostle said, it doesn't matter where you receive that in your body. Once you receive that chip, that mark of the beast is not an embargo. Okay? Once you receive that chip, right? That RFID chip, that, that, that incision, that, that, that size of a rice grain, right? Into your inserted, right? Into your, into your flesh. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, there's no more turning back from that. Because you're denying Yahweh Basham Yah Shai and you bowing down to the system. Okay? In their foreheads, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, right? Or the name of the beast of the number of his name. All right, and that is a chip. All right, and he that had the and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. All right, which is that incision, or the name of the beast. You know what? You don't want to get that name of the beast. All right, or the number of his name. He is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six hundred and sixty six. Right? That is the, the mark of the beast. That is the system. You do not want to bow down to that system. If you, in, if you take this chip, and like I say this, it is all you pray. That's why you have to seek the most high now. So when you get to that position, because things are going to happen so quickly, you won't get no time to meditate, to understand what the mark of the beast is really. It's going to come to a shock to the system. It's going to happen quickly. So you won't get to meditate and understand and learn. What this mark of the beast is. Right? You're not going to know. And that is the danger. That is very dangerous, brother and sisters. Very, very dangerous. A very dangerous situation to be in. Alright? So, like I says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, go to anyone on the GMS that is following the true doctrine, all right? They're following the true doctrine, obviously. But any, any other camp that is following GMS 100%, the true doctrine, then you can get the breakdown of Revelations um, 13 chapter, right? The, right? The, the, um, re, um, the book of Revelation um, chapter 13, all right? But you have to follow order. To get it through our apostles first. Then you can listen to other brothers. Alright. That is breaking it down. Alright. But they, but they speak the same thing. Alright. Good. So. 
It's a, it's a fearful thing. That's why you have to fear the Most High and you have to love Him. You have to love the Most High and you fear Him. You see how it both works? You see how it works, brothers and sisters? Fear Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Because I'm telling you, right? In that day, we have to pray and seek the Most High now because you have to work to please Him. You have to do the work to please Him. Seek Him. For His law, statutes, and commandments. All right? All right? Do what pleases Him. And that is a true love. And that is a true fear. Do not wait for the last minute. Okay? Do not wait for that last minute. Because it's going to be a shock. And it's going to be too late. It's going to be the famine of the word. All this information that you can get right now is going to be taken away. Right? My brother's channel was shut down recently. GMS Central London. Right? Or Shalakia, if it's GMS London Central. Right? It was, regardless of what, if you go to that channel, it, it, it's gone. Because we are in the last days. Right? All other brothers, their channels have been taken down too. Famine of the word. And that's going to happen when this information goes and disappears from the internet. Because that's going to be shut down too. Right? So you can't get to hear the word. You go to the Bible, you pick it up, you can't break it down. You can't find the men, the true men of the Lord, the prophets, because they're not on the highways and the byways. What are you waiting for? All right? But I'm going to say something heavy now. When you tell people these things, I myself, in my basic style, in my, in my low knowledge, I tell people, family members, friends about it. They say, nah, 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 not in my lifetime. Yeah, maybe, yes, I see where you're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, things do increase. You know, intelli intelligence, yes, advance, it does advance, yes, robots and blah, 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 right? But they say, no, not in my lifetime. You see, but it works both ways, right? Because they've been here before. Because they don't believe in reincarnation either. Because they've been here many times. So it has been in a lifetime. Maybe not then, but they're back now. Right? Because you die and you come back in the third and fourth generation. So if they're saying this today now, say no, not in my lifetime, they don't know what they're talking about. Because the Mosai has brought it back now again. Right? The Mosai gives a life, he takes a life. All right? So let me prove to you, right, in the scriptures, when people say, no, not in our lifetime. All right? Let me go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 12. Ezekiel 12. Ezekiel 12, um, 27, right? Ezekiel 12, 27, all right? And you see, you only get these breakdowns, you know, from our, our apostles, right? Our apostles of Great Millstone, who we learned from, right? You never get these breakdowns and understand. It'll go over your head. That's why this book is not for Esau. This is not for Esau. Right, listen to this now. Uh, like I says, Ezekiel 12. Uh, let me start from 26 to 27. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh Shamashai came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth. Is for many days to come. And he prophesies if of the times that are far off. You see how deep that is to prove, right? Because people ignore the prophecies. Right? And they say that no, no, not in my generation. That's what they say. And that just proves to you to say that what people are saying. In this generation, 
is going to come to pass. All right. The son of man, say it again, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. No, not now, not now, not now. It will come maybe, yeah, maybe what you're saying is true, but not now, way down the line, right? Because they're ignoring the prophecies, the signs, the Most High has given us signs in the skies, right? The moons, the, 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 the everything, the, the, what is happening, the, 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 the perilous times, the, the, the wars that's going on now, um, the riots in the street, there's many signs, but people are not holding on to that. And he prophesies if, right, of the times that are far off. Eh? No, come on. Right? I would have understood that um, when I used to go to church. You only get these understandings through the breakdowns through our apostles of great men stone, true men of the Lord. All right? So let me go to... Um, Revelations 14. And this is what's going to happen. This is dangerous now, right? Let me go to Re Revelations 14. Uh, 14, 8 to 13. Right? Let me just go through that quickly. And this is what's going to happen if you bow down to that, 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 that system. Right? If you bow down to that system, which is the mark of the beast, you're accepting that chip. All right? And you're denying your how about Shami Hashai. And I will tell you this. That's why you have to seek the Most High now. Try to learn about him. Try to please him so he can favor you. As I said, everything is ordained from the beginning. We don't know where we stand. Even me speaking right now, doing these videos. Even our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders speaking and doing the videos, doing the work. We don't know where we stand. So we have to pray right to the Most High that he has mercy upon us. Mercy upon us. Right? So this is what's going to happen to you. And this is, this is very, this is damnation. Damnation. All right? Revelations 14 and 8 to 13. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling. Is fallen. Is fallen. Right? That's America. That great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, right? And that is it, that's, that's it, you know. When you take that chip, you are denying Yahweh Sham Yahshai and you're worshiping the beast, right? And his image and receive his mark. You see that? That mark, you know, in his forehead or in his hand. And remember, it could be anywhere in your body. Once you take that chip, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Basham Yahshai, which is poured out without mixture. That is pure, 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 pure pain. Pure wrath, not diluted, not watered down. It is intense. Okay? Into the cup of the indignation, and he shall be tormented. Brothers and sisters, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, please, Baba Kasha. I'm even praying for myself. I even, even reading this, it, it makes me scared, right? It makes me scared. Baba Kasha, because that is frightening. Because when I'm sick at times, right, and, and brothers talk about it when they're in pain and torment so in this kingdom, right, and the torture and the pain you're going through, the pain that you're going through, and the Most High is going to amplify that and intense that by a thousand, by a thousand, by a thousand. And if we can't take that pain right now, right, and the Most High that what we're going through now is a light affliction. Imagine when we're going through that pain, one hot, that pain which is magnified by a thousand, by a thousand, by a thousand, right? You must fear that. Fear that. Okay. That's why the Most High must jack us up all the time and, and warn us all the time. Right? 
Be reproved all the time when a brother checks upon you, reprove you. Take it as a blessing to help you, to keep you in line, keep you in check. All right? Right? I'm going to say that again. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indig his indignation, and he shall be tormented. No, that is not a nice feeling, brothers and sisters. That is not a nice feeling. Tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. No, man, you don't want that to touch you. You don't want that fire to touch you. Right? You don't want that fire to touch you, brothers and sisters. That is what you call torment. Right? We are in torment now. Give all praise and glory to you. How about Sham Yahushai? We're in torment now. But we give him glory. Because the Most High is going to make that worse. And we fear that. We fear that. Right? And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest. Listen to me. We are in torment now. We're not in rest at the moment. We can't even sleep properly. We can't even. I speak to brothers in torment every day going to work. Right, how they're fighting with demons every day, how their the money situation, their wife, their sickness, their every problems they're having, they're in torment. But listen to me, that is nothing gonna be compared to that everlasting torment, okay? That torment, that torture forever and ever. Right? Right? No rest. Right? Right? And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest. Day nor night, who worship the beast and the image, and whoever so, whoever, whoever, whosoever receiveth the mark of his name, you will die. You will die, brothers and sisters. Whoever so receive the mark of his name, right? You will die, brothers and sisters. You will die. He here is the patience of the saints. It's all about the saints, brothers and sisters. I'm not talking about Esau here. Right? Right? I'm not talking about Esau here. I'm talking about the patience of the saints. Alright? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments. That's why you must seek the most high now and know what these commands are about. Right? Keeping the high holy days, serving the Hawa Basham Yahushai. Huh? To the best of your ability. Come on, man. Come on. And the faith of Yahweh Shia Mashiach, the faith. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, from henceforth. Ye save the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Right? So you have to serve Yahweh Basham Yahushai now. Fear the word. Fear the most high. Look at that picture. Fear the most high Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Love Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right? If you love him and you fear him, you'll seek him. And if you seek him, you'll know what is to come. And that major prophecies are to come. The RFID chip, chip the, the mark of the beast. Which, which this is the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, right? And the World War Three is coming, Jacob's trouble is coming, right? Torture, the guillotine, you name it, those prophecies are coming. All right, those prophecies are coming, brothers and sisters. But I'm going to say to you, and this applies to me too. I pray and hope for myself and my brothers and sisters that we do not take that. RFID chip because it's of the power and the strength of the Lord. Although we say this now because everything is ordained. Right now as I speak, the Most High knows if I'm going to take it. The Most High knows if I'm going to accept it, right? Or, 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 or receive it or, or deny it. The Most High right now knows. 
And I pray and I hope, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Yahweh Shem Yashai. I pray for my brothers that and for my elders come down, elder apostles and my elders, and my brothers come down to the the, the 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 brothers, right, and the sisters and the and whoever, right, that not to take that mark of the beast. I pray that we don't. We the Most High gives us the strength not to take that 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 chip, the RFID chip, because that is it. Because you could do things right now in this kingdom and ask for repentance, right? right? I'm not talking about Esau because it's not for them. I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. And although you call on the name of the Lord, it doesn't mean that you're going to be saved. Okay? But I'm saying that you have a chance, brothers and sisters. From you are a Hebrew Israelite. Okay? From you are a Hebrew Israelite. All right? You have a chance. And you seek Yahweh in truth and in love and in fear and in sincerity, right? Be charitable to brothers, all right? Okay? Defend your brothers and help them. Support them. Support the ministry. Support our elders, right? Right through, right? Or they're, they're above us. We must, uh, we, we, and teaching us because they're our spiritual fathers, right? We must support them, all right? Because when you give strength out of strength, it makes you more powerful. All right? So I pray and hope that we do not take that mark of the beast. And that is the major thing. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right? The RFID chip is going to be inserted into your body. Right? Which is going to be forced upon you. It's going to be made mandatory. Right? And that is what we're trying to avoid. And if you take that chip... You are going to come upon that second death. You will die. All right. So with all that, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Sham Yahushai. We love you so much, Heavenly Father. We love you so much, Heavenly Father. Make this prayer go up to, to you. Right. Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha. Please save us. Please come soon, Heavenly Father. Baba Kasha. Please come soon. We need you. Please save us. Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha. Please save us, Heavenly Father. We put up curses upon this nation, upon this evil kingdom. Baba Gasha, please send your chariots now. Send your chariots to deliver us. Baba Gasha. With that, all praise and glory to you. Sham Yashai. Amen. All right. Brothers and sisters, wake up. Right. And Baba Gasha, seek Yahweh Sham Yashai. Right. In order to give you strength to understand what it is. Right. The meaning of receiving that mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right? Shalom.